guys. We are with uh, Chef Roy. Or Ray. Ray. <laughs> you call me Roy, I call you Ray. Ray Floor from the new Soho Burger Bar. That used to be the old Soho Bar. It did. And you switched over. You've gone family. We have. Um, we're kind of the bar that uh, thinks it's a restaurant and the restaurant that thinks it's a bar <laughs> at this point. And you kind of switch over. Today, what are we making? Today, we're going to do a, uh, a burger off our menu. It's a signature burger. Um, this is called a gold standard. Um, this has uh, apple bacon on it, mm -hmm. aged cheddar cheese, uh, a chive aioli, roasted tomato, and arugula. All right, let's talk burger. Let's talk the beef, actually. What makes the best burger? I heard the more fat, the tastier it is. Definitely, you want to always have a good fat content. It helps with moisture and flavor. What is the percentage, would you say? I mean, typically 80-20. Oh, really? Um, it is, it, uh, that's in, in speaking in ground chalk. Right. Uh, that's typically what most people will use. Okay. Um, ours actually doesn't have any chalk in it at all. Uh, we tested a lot of different blends, a lot of meats ground on their own, and uh, came up with a concoction of three different meats, uh, none of which are chalk. Um, what is chuck? Chuck is it just a certain part? It's a cut. Okay. And the ground chuck has a good uh, marbling uh, content, so that's typically what you'll see most burgers are well, made What of. would you recommend? Just a regular, like a sirloin? Uh, a, a, actually, chuck really is the best, unless you want to um, go to your butcher, you know, your local butcher, and, and you decide on uh, a, a blend that you like. You know, you can... There's no right or wrong with your mixture of, of ground meat when you're making a burger. All right, I have more burger questions, and then in our next segment, we can answer those and start to put things together. Sounds good. Terrific. Back to you guys. Mm. <laughs> 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 Do you understand that? We, we just have our own language. I'm picking it up. <laughs> no, Chef Ray Floor from the Soho Burger Ball Bar, the new one that used to be, it still is at times, though, the Soho Bar. Correct. On Chippewa, and what is the cross street? Franklin. Franklin. Um, you are here making... Your One of our signature burgers, the gold standard. The gold standard. Now, we were talking about the actual beef burger. When I make a burger, I add all the seasoning, I guess, to just spice it up. You told me that you don't need to. Uh, it's, it's really not necessary. Um, it, it's not that it's wrong. Uh, if you have a fresh product, um, really salt and pepper is, is the only necessary thing. Let's talk the importance about the actual beef that you're using. You get it mixed up. By Johnny's? We do. we do from Johnny's on Hurdle. Love Johnny's. Uh, it's a special blend that we uh, tested a lot of different cuts on their own. We mixed them, and we finally came to this uh, decision with this blend that we use for all our burgers. Could you actually tell the difference in you trying can. them? You, you can. Um, and, and when you taste a burger, um, our blend versus a regular chuck burger, a fresh ground chuck burger, uh, you will know the difference immediately. You can tell. Yeah. It's, do you grill your burgers or do you fry them? We grill them. Okay. Um, you can fry them. Um, I like them both ways. Uh, but we grill everything at the restaurant. Tell us more about the restaurant. You've switched over. You've gone family. So you have uh, all the restaurant menu. We do. Through the day until... Yeah, it's the same menu uh, from lunch through dinner. Uh, our hours uh, for serving food are 11 until 10 at night. Okay. Uh, and then from 10 until 12 uh, during the week, we have an abbreviated li late night menu. Okay. And then on the weekends, Friday and Saturday, that late night menu carries until 2 a.m. And you're still a club through the weekend. We are. And even at night. We are. Terrific. Well, we are going to prepare all of this and the burger and everything, the cheeseburger, when we come back in our next segment. Sounds good. Chef, Chef Ray Floor, we thank you very much. Back to you guys. Hey, we have uh, Chef Ray Floor from uh, Soho Burger Bar. Burger Bar. And uh, formerly the Soho Bar, which is still, they are still brother and brother. We are. We are making your uh, signature burger from yep. the new restaurant, which is? The Gold Standard. The Gold Standard. Okay, you've had this pan heating for quite a bit. I have. I got it nice and hot. Okay. Um, and is that one of the keys if you're going to fry it in a pan? It is. You know, it, it, the fry is no different than the grill. You get the grill nice and hot before you put your meat on there. You want your pan to be hot as well. Okay. Um, another important step, you know, not everybody might uh, appreciate is the importance of salt and pepper on both sides of the burger before you place it on the grill or the pan. Um, and, you know, red meat has enough of its own fat that you don't need to add oil 
just the plate pan, it right just on. Just put it right in there, and it's going to release enough of its own uh, fat to keep it nice and moist and not stick. That's like music to my ears at this yep, hour in the morning. That's a nice sound. All right, and you have, do the type of buns matter also? Do you, what kind of buns do you guys serve? We, we, um, we've really tried to go above and beyond um, for the whole menu for this uh, burger bar. It, it truly is a, a gourmet burger bar. Um, starting with the meat blend that we have done exclusively for us um, at Johnny's Meats. Right across uh, on Hurdle, right down the street. We have our sweet brioche roll made by uh, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, great dessert. Um, excellent desserts. Um, and, and so the roll and the meat, um, there was a lot of thought and a lot of research done with those two main, because that really is the, the heart of the the burger, the, Absolutely. the meat, and the, the bun. Um, I got to tell you that we're standing here. I can see the smoke from the thing. At this point at home, I'm getting a little nervous, but I should just let it sit for a bit? Let it sit. Uh, don't rush it. You know, uh, a common mistake is people want to turn wanna flip and it, flip the me. burgers too quickly. That will ruin it? Um, it, it doesn't ruin it. It, it just, uh, it's, a much, it's a much better product if you uh, resist the urge to flip it too often. All right. I'll let you hold the spatula back. Okay. Cheese, different kinds of cheeses. And we should say, at the Soho Burger Bar, you have all different kinds of burgers, not just beef burgers. You have, I heard, tuna burgers, right. veggie burgers. What other kind of burgers? Right, turkey burgers. Um, we also have a naked chicken burger. What does that which mean? Is, uh, we grind our own chicken. Oh. Uh, and that's got mustard seed and ground apple and scallion. So you actually season that one? Correct. Okay. Cheeses make a difference on what time? I love the, just the basic chip. You know, yeah. really, it, it's whatever your favorite cheese is. Uh, on the gold standard one that we're doing this morning, it's an aged cheddar from okay. Wisconsin. Um, from Wisconsin. I was just in Wisconsin. Well, there you go. You're very <laughs> familiar with the quality cheese there. She said. Um, this, this burger is um, topped with aged cheddar. Uh, our bacon we use at the restaurant is only applewood bacon, okay. which is the best bacon you can, you can use. I can smell that. That looks that's Very distinct, delicious. Uh, Absolutely. Smell. Uh, and then we also have, uh, on the gold standard, roasted tomatoes, which basically are um, basically like a tomato confit where it's just roasted in the oven with salt, pepper, and olive oil, cooked in its own juice. Okay. Uh, and then... Um, cut up a little bit and uh, we'll top it with a chive pesto. Can we put this together now? Put at least one burger together so we, we can sure show the can. folks what it looks like? We How sure long can. all told do you think it takes just to cook one burger? About five minutes on each side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at this point let's you flip that and I'm gonna get a plate out <laughs> and we can put together through the magic of television. We can. You have one prepared. I do. And we'll take a bun. And then what we'll do is we'll set our we'll set our burger up, put the bacon on first. Okay, I got about 30 seconds. We'll top that with the cheddar cheese. Okay. That'll go on top of the bun. Oh, it's We'll good. give that bun a little bit of chive aioli. Okay. Victoria can be my little bun holder. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we top that with a little of the roasted tomato. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm going to give a taste of Some that. Some fresh arugula. And voila. And voila. You got your gold standard. Terrific. All right, Chef. Ray also has a great second helping that you can do if you have any leftover burgers. We're going to deal with that in our second helpings. With that, thank you. So it looks good. I'll taste it when we come back. Back to you guys. I am uh, back with Chef Ray Floor of the Soho, Soho Burger Bar. It's uh, the one of the latest gourmet burger places to hit Buffalo. It's on Chippewa. It's also the Soho Bar. The people Chippewa probably Franklin. recognize it. You are reinventing the, the hamburger, the cheeseburger, into a salad for the next day. We are. Uh, this is actually a salad that does quite well on our you menu on at the here. restaurant. Uh, we do. Uh, this is a bacon cheeseburger salad. Um, basically, you know, at the, at the end of the night, if most people will always grow up a couple extra hamburgers yep. or hot dogs. You can wrap that in saran wrap. The next day, you chop up a little iceberg lettuce or whatever your favorite lettuce might be. Mm -hmm. You can top it with your burger, some chopped uh, tomatoes. Okay, I'll start throwing that on. Do you put on the burger first? Does sure. Does it matter? 
Well, look how colorful that is. Okay, we have a minute left. We're just going to throw on the pickles, the cheese, and the onions, and then you have a vinaigrette cooking up. Correct. That's a warm apple bacon vinaigrette. You know what would go great with all of this? A shake. And you yes, can specialize in shakes. Do. Where is it? We I do. love shakes. <laughs> Next time, you come back and you make the shakes. That's right. What um, makes them so special? Well, we, um, we wanted to have uh, something to kind of finish off the whole theme. And, you know, what's more American than a... A good hamburger, French fries, and a milkshake. And if you need a little bit more of a relaxer than a shake, I see you have spike shakes. We also have spike shakes, which With have wow. alcohol in them. That's amazing. That's terrific. Yeah. I have the menu right here. It's the Soho Burger Bar, and it is the Soho Grill as well. Where is it located again? Uh, 64 Chippewa. Franklin and Chippewa. Right at the corner. Hours? Uh, 11 a.m. until 10 p.m., and then a late-night menu from 10 to 12 during the week and then till two on the weekends. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Oh, thank you. Hope to have you back to make those shakes with me. Okay, great. All right, back to you guys.